The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Formula decided long ago that they weren't going to compete in the high end of the go-fast boat's performance spectrum, but they were going to keep the speed while adding comfort and style. Let's see how they've done with the 353 Fast Tech. For Boatest.com, I'm Captain Steve. One thing I find with the 353 is that there's so much power in these engines, and it's putting so much into those five-bladed props, that you'll ventilate the props very easily every time you take off. You have to get it up on plane, get the prop ventilating, back down a little bit, work through that ventilation, and then launch off, and then the boat just flies. But it's getting through that ventilation, and you can hear it here. Back off on the ventilating, come on plane, and then hit it. I have found that when you get into performance boats and you get into the high end of the performance envelope, over 50, 60, into the 70s, that you'll develop a little bit of a chine walk back and forth that you either have to back the speed off of to get out of that or drive against it and through it. It takes a little bit of skill to do that, but I found that the 353 exhibits none of that. The Formula 353 Fast Tech had a length overall of 35 feet 3 inches, a beam of 8 feet 3 inches, and a draft of 36 inches. With 3 quarters of fuel added to our 9,500 pound empty weight, we had a test weight of 10,721 pounds. Top speed came in at 80.2 miles an hour while burning 85.9 gallons per hour. This gave us a range of 125 miles. Throttled back to a more economical cruise of 3,000 RPMs and we were running at 47.4 miles an hour while burning 35.4 gallons per hour. That gave us a range of 179 miles. Her time to plane was 6.5 seconds and her 0 to 30 time was 10.1 seconds. I found when putting the 353 through maneuvers that it's very much like every other formula when it's at maneuvering speed. If you have it at high speed, you're going to want to keep your maneuvers down to a minimum. If you start maneuvering and cranking and banking, bring it down to about half speed, which will be you know, in the 40, 45 mile an hour range, and it handles solid, nailed to the water. It really doesn't take any special skill or experience to operate the 353. An average boater can do it just fine. Close quarters maneuvering is going to be no problem. As you can see, the pivot point is right about ahead of me at the windshield. I can make it respond very easily and very nimbly to what I want to do. Taking a look at the engine compartment, we have a pair of Mercury 525 EFI racing engines connected to Bravo 1 XR ITS outdrives. Not a lot of room to get around the engines on either side, so major work is going to be a problem, but for the minor work and daily engine checks, it's easy enough. Oil filters conveniently located, fuel filters easy enough to change, and I can see all the way to the bilge, all hoses look like they're double clamped, as they should be. I also noticed that the gel coat is finished on the inside of the hull, which I like to see. Well, Formula may not build themselves as the fastest of the go-fast boats, but at 81 miles an hour, I don't think anybody's going to be complaining. That's our test and performance of the 353 Fast Tech by Formula. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.